What is the timeline of the patent process? The timeline of the patent process is shown in this flowchart. The patent process starts with a patent search. It's an optional step. I don't recommend paying for a patent search with a patent attorney, at least not until you've done some searching on your own. I recommend that you conduct an informal search on your computer. For example, you can conduct a Google image search at the very least before hiring me or a different patent attorney to do a paid formal search. If you found that someone else has already come up with your idea, you've saved yourself some money and you can go on to the next idea. If you don't find anything relevant during the patent search, the next step is to file a patent application. At this point, your invention is now patent pending. If you want your patent as fast as possible, the patent application should be filed as a non-provisional patent application. Additionally, you may want to pay for the expedite request so that the patent office will examine your patent application out of turn. Instead of waiting one to three years to hear from the patent office, you would wait about four to six months to receive the first office action. In my experience, by filing a request for expedited examination, you could get a patent as fast as a few months after filing. Be aware that by filing the request to expedite, you also speed up your expenses for the examination process. If you can't spend that much money on getting a patent as soon as possible, you'd have to delay the expenses or spread the expenses out over a period of time. In this case, you may want to file a provisional patent application. Within one year, you would file a non-provisional application claiming priority back to the provisional. When you file the non-provisional application, you have to wait about 14 months to three years before the patent office works through its backlog to get to your application. As you can see, by filing the provisional and not requesting expedited examination, the process can take a long time for you to get a patent, but it also spreads out your patent expenses over many years. When you get your first office action, it'll most likely be a rejection. Now don't be discouraged. It's just the opinion of the examiner. We have to prepare a response and give the examiner new information so that they can make a new decision. We go through this loop for a few months. If the examiner maintains a rejection, you may decide to abandon the application. Alternatively, we can appeal the decision to the appeals board. If successful, the patent office will grant you a patent. You have to pay three maintenance fees, three and a half years, seven and a half years, and 11 and a half years after the patent grant to keep the patent alive. My name is James Yang. I'm a patent attorney, engineer, and author. I've been helping clients since 2004 protect their inventions and brands with patents and trademarks. I also wrote Navigating the Patent System to help inventors like you get through the patent process. After 400 granted patents and hundreds of registered trademarks, I'm confident I can help you.